What's good? It's your girl back at it again for day number six of my one week one palette series. Wow, um, it's over tomorrow. This is a pretty wild ride. It's been actually pretty straightforward, I would say, for the most part. I know that I enjoy this palette and I have really been loving the looks that I've been turning out, you know, like it's been it's been real cute. It's been fun and I've been about it, you know, so <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I think today I'm going to do a trifecta of colors, and I'm just going to use this color here, this color here, and this color here. I've um, used every other shade in here, but I don't feel like I've played too much with the mattes, other than this darker one that I used yesterday. So let's jump right in. And I think today, instead of using this color for my transition, I'm going to use this color, which is more pink than it is purple and it's called fan fiction and I'm going to take this on a crease brush like a you know fluffy crease brush the standard and put that through I've got a light face makeup going on you know very glowy foundation and glowy skin and generally pretty no makeup makeup ish so I kind of want to stick to that theme keep things really glowy and soft so I put that pink through the crease and I think it looks really pretty very gentle <laughs> it's like a little caress of color you know I do think I'm going to build that up a little bit more and I'm going to build it up with a fluffy brush this time instead of a more pointed brush So once I've got that pink color through, I'm going to take a slightly fluffier shader brush and I'm going to go into that light purple, lavender, lilac, just, you know, it's a purple. It's a purple, it's a light purple, <laughs> I'm going to put that all over my McFrickin lid. Now this thought never occurred to me. But I feel like this would have made my life a whole lot easier throughout this series. I could have used like a white shadow base to make the colors pop even color pop uh, colors pop even more. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I guess I'm trying to use it in its most practical sense without any sort of extra things. So, you know, just like a basic eyeshadow primer and then I want to see how they work on their own. So I guess that's why I didn't use it, but honestly, truly a base like that could have saved me some <laughs> road bumps, let's just say. And so I've got that colored down. And I think the final, this is going to be real quick, um, I think the final thing that I'm going to do is take this sparkly, dusty, dusty ass color. <laughs> and I'm putting that color on the inner third of my eye. Which is a weird move because this actually is a little bit darker than it may appear to be. Like I thought that some of that sparkle would come through, but it really doesn't. It turns out to be sort of like a satiny color. I can't tell if that altered the light purple or if that's just a shadow. I think it's just a shadow. And now I'm going to mix the two colors that I used. This light pink, well this pink, and then this lilac, and I'm going to put that under my eyes. It's so cold in Chicago. It's cold, it's snowy, it's windy. It's really honestly horrendous weather. <laughs> And we're going to be entering a polar vortex soon, so <laughs> radical, love it. So I think simple looks like this are good for when it's just wild, chaotic, evil conditions. <laughs> so now all that's left over is to do the lips. Um, I think I've got a pretty sufficient amount of glow going on on the cheeks, although I have noticed that I have like remnants of mascara all the way along my temples <laughs> from when my eyes were tearing up from the cold. So I'm gonna just fix that. 
And for the lips, I'm just going to stick to a very sparkly, pretty, almost clear gloss. This one is from ColourPop and it's the color... Phew! I love the look of this gloss. It's so sparkly. Mm. I'm gonna add another layer. So here we are. Here is the finished look. It was very to the point, very simple, no bullshit. Um, like I said, it's good for if you have a really cold temperature and you don't want to fuss around with a lot of eyeshadow, or if you just want to stick to something simple and matte. I think this is very pretty, and I really like the way it came out. And that's that on that. I think this pairs really well with a really glowy skin too. God, how many times have I said really in one sentence? Let's just like <laughs> cut that out. I hope you enjoyed this video and tomorrow's the last day of this One Week One Palette uh, series and I have a lot of thoughts and opinions to share at the end. So we're gonna make it a banger. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna slap. It's gonna be lit. And I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Ciao!